Hi, this is Mike Levine, U.S. Editor of Audio Fanzine, and in this video I'm going to show you just a few of the powerful things you can do using Melodyne Editor, the plug-in and standalone program from Celimony. Now, in this uh, video, I'm going to be using it in Pro Tools as a plug-in. So first thing, we've got a little acoustic guitar line here. I'm going to show you how to change the melody in it from within Melodyne. So let's take a listen. Okay, let's say I wanted to change the pitch of that last note and make it um, go from, it's an E right now, I would make it go down to a D sharp. First thing I would do is instantiate Melodyne, and there's the interface. Now, the way Melodyne works is that you capture the audio into it in real time using the transfer function, and then you can edit it and change anything you want within Melodyne and it's totally non-destructive to your original audio, but as long as you leave the plugin on, it will play back with all your changes. So let's capture that audio. I'll hit transfer and then hit play. Okay, hit stop and now it's calculating. Now let's check the algorithm that we're in. Let's go to melodic. Okay, and let's take a listen back to it. So those are our notes, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit on them. Let me get back to the main tool and get rid of that extraneous note. Okay, now I want to change this last note uh, from an E, and you can see it's on, it's an E, even if I hover right over the note, the pitches show up right next to it, which is extremely handy. And I want to check that my pitch grid is has a uh, snap to grid on it. Yes, and it's got chromatic snap, which is what I want, which means I can snap it down to any note chromatically. So I'm going to just take it. I can audition it by clicking on it and then just bring it down. And there we go. So now... Cool, right? Really easy. So let's say, and of course I could change any other melody notes in there that I want. I can also change time with them using the time uh, editing tools in Melodyne, but we're, today I'm just focusing on pitch. So um, let me close that out for a minute. And now I w let's say I wanted to do a harmony. I select my track and duplicate it, and you can do this in any DAW. And now I have a second copy also with Melodyne on it because I duplicated it, right? So now I'm going to open up that melody track and I'm going to select all of the notes. And now I can just slide them up and create a harmony. So let's see how that sounds. Okay, so it's close, but it's got some, some notes we need to fix. So let's, let's listen again slowly. So I want to make that A sharp an A. And I want to make this D sharp an E. Yeah, that's kind of a cool harmony. And I'll do the same thing over here. I don't want to change it over here. I think it'll sound better just to leave that as is. There you go. So that's an easy way to do harmony. The next thing we're going to look at is how to do editing within a chord, like changing single notes within a chord. Here's the track. Again, it's acoustic guitar. This time it's from chords. We've got measure of A, two measures of D, and another measure of A. So what I want to do is make the second measure of D into a D minor chord. So let me open up Melodyne. And again, we have to capture it. So I'm going to hit transfer and play. Okay. Now this time we want to set the algorithm to polyphonic. So that'll show us the chords. 
and bingo there we go so there uh, let's uh, zoom in a little again Here I have the D chord, and in D chord, F sharp is the major is a major third in a D chord, and we want to make that a minor third. So we're going to select the F sharp notes in that chord, and make sure my again my pitch grid is chromatic snap, and then I'll just bring those F sharps down a half step. Pretty easy, right? And it's pretty amazing that you're going inside of a chord and editing it, and it still sounds really good. If this was inside of a song, I would just be able to play it as long as that Melodyne plugin was there with that information in it. It'll play back that way in my DAW. So there's just some of what you can do using the Melodyne Editor plugin. It's really quite powerful.